Vlad Tarasenko, his, uh, according to Jeremy Rutherford of The Athletic, his, his um, value is sinking like a rock, too, because, again, after the draft and after free agency, nobody's got the money anymore. And even at 50, 50% retained, this is a guy that's played 30 games in the last two seasons and has shoulder issues and is known for his shot, and he's 30. Where does he end up um, and, and when? I see that trade's coming sooner. I could see okay. him ending up with the Islanders, uh, maybe New Jersey. Like New Jersey is looking for a score, so if they're not able to find it there, like where do they go? Maybe Carolina wouldn't rule it out. I'm not saying it's likely. The Hurricanes sort of kick tires on everybody, um, but I, I, I do think that it's that's another relationship beyond repair. The beauty for him is, yeah, he makes seven and a half million, but it's only this season that's coming and the next. So it's it's a little bit less risk. You know, you're not you're not counting on six more years of him and him finding his way back. And so I, I think all those places make sense. I mean, the Islanders are hilarious, right? Like we fully expect that they've signed Zach Parise and, and Kyle Palmieri in free agency. As of this moment, they haven't announced it for whatever reason. They just um, never will. They just never well, will. It, just on show like up. August, August 31st, there'll just be like a one-line press release that we, we signed this guy, this guy, and we traded for Tarasenko or whatever. Um, <laughs> it's actually like, I, it doesn't offend me. I just find it funny. Or amusing. Sure. Um, you just think it's but, funny how, huh? Well, I mean, like, <laughs> whatever. They could, like, you do you, man. Like, uh, like it's it's 2021. We've just been through a pandemic. We all got to live our best life. So whatever <laughs> whatever you think is the best way to approach it. Um, but I, I anyway, I do think Tarasenko, we moved. I just saw, by the way, that David Krejci, I mentioned him earlier, that he's announced he's retiring from the NHL. Oh, so wow. But, wow. He's moving home to the Czech Republic to play. And, you know, the story oh, I had been told there is that, um, his, his parents are, don't speak English and his kids don't speak Czech, you know, essentially he's raised kids in, in Boston, in North America and his parents, you know, lived in the Czech Republic. And I think, I think he's, he has a desire to reunite his family, so to speak, or like to, to, you know, after all this time move on, you know, I think it's a big blow for the Bruins. I like, I like what the Bruins did in free agency, but there's a, to me, there's still a sizable kind of hole in their second line center position. Like may, maybe it's Eric Halla that stepping into that role is signed. I mean, maybe they try Nick Foligno there. Obviously he can play all three forward positions and, and has done so throughout his career, but like Krejci and Hall were a key part of their second line, you know, late last season. And even at Krejci's age, I, I still think he was effective. And so I'm sure emotional decision for David, uh, probably the right one for his family, but you know, this leaves the Bruins to me in an interesting spot. Like, the decline might come sooner than we think with that team. That's all, that's all I'm saying. It's not, that's not a full prediction. I just see them as a team that's been so good for so long. You just assume they'll never fall off, but you know, it's, it's death by a thousand small cuts, you know, might be, might be coming to that organization. God, wow. I'm just, his playoff numbers are uh, in all three trips to the finals that he was a part of 23 points in 25 games, 26 points in 22 games and 16 points in 24 games in the most recent one. 0.79 points per game in the playoffs. Like, what a playoff performer David Krejci was. As a Leaf fan, good riddance. Yeah. (laughs) Get out of here. Super guy, too. Like, really, really good guy. CJ? I mean, I admire making this decision for his family, too. Like, yeah, yeah, that can't be easy. Like, I I, I haven't talked to him. I'm not in his shoes. But, like, I can just imagine that that wasn't the easiest call because – when you're one of the best in the world at doing something like that, you can only do it for so long. And and to leave when he still could play, man, that's got to be tough. Would he play in the KHL or the, or sure. the Czech League? Maybe the Czech League. You know, him and Yarmir Yager can uh, tear it up. their battles there. Well, I don't think they'd be on the same team. So um, that's wild because they played on the you know that one cup run. Yager was mm-hmm. with Boston too. So oh, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah, I mean. Good on them, but the Czech League is is great and all, but it's not the NHL. Right. Is right. there has there been a change in mindset just based on the conversations that you have? Because this is like I know it's it's valiant and everything, but I also don't think this is a decision that gets made pre pandemic at the same age, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. You know what I mean? I think I think everyone has a new perspective on life after all this. Yeah, if you didn't, you did the pandemic wrong. Like, and, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I'm saying that obviously tongue in cheek, but like, let's face it, who among us hasn't had either an opportunity to consider, like, just reevaluate our priorities, look mm. at situations 
friends, family, work, whatever, differently. I mean, I, I think the whole world, like this has been an earthquake and that shook every country, touched everyone in certain ways. And so I agree with you. I, I You know, it's hard to alternate reality we can't do in this case, but I think it's possible that everyone has looked differently. I know I've looked at things in my own life quite differently too through this. And, and so I, I think that that's fair assessment. Even Matt Niskanen, right? Like he walked away after the bubble with Philly from, I think it was around 4 million bucks. Like he, he just said, I'm done. He didn't want to do it anymore. Move back, move his family back to Minnesota. Um, you know, I'm not, and he was younger uh, mm -hmm. and still could play. And so I, I think there are a lot of guys. I mean, it's funny. It's gone the other way with some of the older players. Like I've heard a few older players kind of suggest they didn't want to go out with these seasons. Like they want to, they, they want to stick it through long enough to see fans again and to be around the excitement in the way the game was that they remember. So like it, it doesn't mean that it's driving players on mass out of the game, but I do think it's driving maybe different decisions that would have been made if it didn't happen. And, you know, I've even read also that like 25 companies are expecting they're going to lose 25% of their workforce because of this. Like every company, no matter what, you're going to have part of your workforce that absolutely wants to keep working from home. You have part of it that absolutely wants to come back to office part of it that like wants some hybrid, like there's no way to make everyone happy in this. And, and, you know, this is going to be probably the most significant event in our lives, honestly. Um, like in our, that, so. that we'll witness. Yeah. Well, if, if something, Fingers if, crossed. If, <laughs> uh, if something bigger and more disruptive is coming, uh, we're probably not doing a hockey podcast. So no. um, I've yeah. had it with significant moments. I would like to go back to, wow, this is pretty boring. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to keep your life comfortably between a three and seven out of 10 kind of? Yeah, right now I do. Yeah. I mean, like you were talking about changes and you brought up divorce. I mean, I did pandemic and divorce at the same time. It was spectacular. So, you know, for me, I feel like we could, we could ratchet the drama down a little bit. You know what I mean? I see. I see. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I, I mean, and with no, and, and with no, I'm not making uh, any sort of side shot at my, at, at uh, my daughter's mother. It's just like, it was a lot. There's a lot. And, and it feels like everybody seems just pooped. Like everybody I talk to, they're like, I'm just really tired of everything. Like, and it's not no a side shot. It. It's not a side shot, but you are saying my daughter's mother. Like, well, yeah, you know, like, I mean, that's what she is. What do you want me to say? My ex? It sounds so much worse when you say your ex, right? It's like, oh, really? Man. I, I just I think, think so. back to like if your parents are fighting and your mom's like, well, your father, tell your father <laughs> right. this. Or like, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> okay, well, he's not my true. father. He's your husband. Like, what the heck? Like, why are you changing the – anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be positive about it, right? Like, it's not that big of a deal. We're fine. Uh, it's anyway, I, long know, story I short. saw that you got a new bow and you've been talking about it on Instagram. So. Yes. <laughs> yes. Did you see that? Yes. Um, you've, you've been going public with your, with your feelings that, well, that's, <laughs> that wasn't my choice. <laughs> you know what? It's funny. There is some crossover between this podcast and Virgin radio, but a lot of times it's just completely separate mm -hmm. audiences. And so, oh, yeah? you know, I'll bring up, you know, I've talked about it openly on, uh, on Virgin and, and then I'll bring it up here and people will be like, I didn't know that. And it's because it's like a hockey podcast, right? It's the only place you'd know me from. So, you know, we're not talking about it that much. But yeah, anyway, long story. I'm short. just I happy that you're happy, bud. Thank yeah. you, Chris. Thank you. I appreciate that. Very I love happy. the half the half dozen people in your in your Instagram comments because it'll be a lot of listeners of this show going, what, 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 what? And there's a half dozen people that just go, all right, I got the tea. And they explain everything. <laughs> <because> <laughs> they listen both. Yeah. Like, listen, yeah. I got you. Here's what's going down. 